All right, guys, what's happening? This is Bill back at the wall of tools and we are talking about a tool today. Um, this is the DeWalt 20 volt max pruner. All right, so let's get right into it. This tool, uh, I would have thought is the most useless tool ever. Uh, and, and I really do mean that. Like it's big, I've used loppers forever. Um, and they work great. And this thing just looks like a monstrosity. I mean, you've seen the hand pruners too. And this thing's about four times as big as a hand pruner. I mean, just look at this. And I've got even like a pretty small battery on it too, but it's just a monster here. You can see it's got these, um, just real quick logistically, it's got these um, pr little blade protector things coming out of the box, which is nice. Nothing, nothing wrong, not a complaint or anything um, that obviously keep you from cutting yourself. Um, it's got this additional safety feature here. So it's got a trigger, but that sucker locks until you push down here and then it will do it. Um, obviously you can see the speed at which it makes those, that cranks is, is not super fast, um, which is great for safety, uh, but also a little bit concerning because when I'm doing my loppers, a lot of times it's, um, so anyway, I got this tool, um, thought it was going to be absolutely useless. I think my wife actually got it for me. So. Um, sorry, babe, but, um, but I actually love it. Um, and here's why it's not that much slower than loppers. The weight is really well distributed. It's got the hand protection too. So then when you're actually working through brush or branches or whatever, um, your hands are protected. The weight doesn't feel bad in many respects. It's actually easier than these big triangular loppers, right? Cause you've just kind of got a drill in your hand. Um, and there's, not that many branches that this won't do. So let me let me qualify that here. Obviously, if you have a gigantic branch, this will not cut it. I think it says two inches, 1.75 or something like that. Like, But for most of what you would expect a lopper to cut, this is no problem. Every once in a while, I have something that's honestly probably like a quick chainsaw, but I've got loppers in hand and I'm just gonna crank away until I get it done. And this will not do that. Um, this really is more of like a hand pruner. Uh, but for that job, it is great. Uh, and so I will say, usually when I use it, I will use either a full-blown gas chainsaw or I will use a um, I will use a lighter electric chainsaw and just use them in combination. A lot of times the chainsaw, you gotta get your ear protection, you gotta make sure you're all geared up and you've got proper safety equipment because you wanna you know, do things the right way. Um, so that makes it inefficient when you want to cut just like one quick branch or you want to trim ch -ch 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 everything off a log. And that's where this guy comes in. Um, there's quite a few other applications here. And I honestly love this tool. Like it's, it's, it's pretty sweet actually. So um, what I did is I brought you guys a couple branches from the yard. Woo, how exciting, right? To show you uh, how this thing cuts. So when I got this thing, I thought it was gonna cut these little bitty branches. And I was like, man, great to have a tool that will do that, but can't imagine when I'll ever get that out to actually use it. So um, I will say this wood is wet um, and it's been sitting on the ground and it's dirty. So I am doing no favors. This is a true road test for this guy. There's, yeah, there's, there's, there's no pulling punches. It's also, um, it literally rained last night, but then also this, fell off the tree maybe a few days ago. So it's green and it's wet, if that makes sense. Okay, so without further ado, the first one, hopefully, don't don't fail me now, DeWalt, but um, this hopefully should cut pretty easily. No problem, see what I mean? Boom, so you can just go through and... Cake, cake. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend my kids use it, but if you have somebody who maybe doesn't have enough strength working with a younger person uh, who has trouble with the crank in the loppers, this is a great option for them too. Um, okay, so obviously it just crushes those little ones. Um, let's see how it does on something a little bigger. So I've got, hopefully you can see the thickness of this branch. This is, this is no joke. It's starting to get into that territory. So let's see here, oh, sorry. Boom, one take it, no problem. I'm telling you, it's a monster. It is a monster. Um, I really like these things. They're, they're super fun. You will find yourself looking for reasons to use these. Like I'll be walking around the lawn and then I will go into the garage, 
grab them, sip them, stick them on my hip, hip pocket, and then as I go through like trees, I'll just be because it's it's fun to use. It's easy. It, you see how little effort it takes, and boom, you can just prune like a pro. Okay, I do have some bigger sticks because I wanted to see kind of where this thing would peter out. Um, I think it'll start to get stuck on some of these, but just like with loppers, you can you can kind of work your way through it if you if you get stuck too. So this one's a bit bigger. Uh, hopefully you can see it's even thicker on this side. So we'll cut on the thick side here. Um, and let's just see how it does. This is what is it, test three? Oh, sorry. Wow. I did not think it was going to do that. It just crushed it. It just crushed. Um, so yeah, there you go. Okay, now I've got one more. I mean, I can show you a true thick branch if you want. That's like that, but I guarantee you it'll, <laughs> that won't work. But yeah, here's something like this. This is this is where you really start to start to hit the edges of the tool. And I think if your expectation is that it will just crush a log like this or a branch like this, you'll be disappointed. But um, if you were just hoping to do little ones and you can get up to something this big, I think you'll be very pleased. So again, this is the thickest part of the branch. There is thicker, thinner here. Well, let's see if we can do thinner first and then let's go up. So thinner, see it gets stuck, right? Just like I said. But at the same time, if you can see, it's still buried in there. So if you're lazy and you don't want to grab another tool like I do, just work it back and forth a couple times. And it's really no effort because you're just pushing the button. Boom. And you can see the green ring there. So this is wet. Definitely no favors. Let's try to do maybe just the thickest piece here we got and see if we can't work our way through it again. I mean, you see how easy that is. So it's great when you don't want to do a lot of work. Obviously, I have full born, you know, like loppers. I've got the chainsaw for other situations. Um, but it's more of the theme is like right, right tool for the right, right job. So um, I love these things. They're really cool. Um, they sell them at Home Depot, and it seems like something you would just never use. And you're like, why would I need that? Um, but honestly, it's actually one of the most useful tools. Um, so I'm curious if you guys have ever tried something like this, if you use it, how you like it, all that good jazz, but um, but I've, I've had a joy with it. Um, other thing I will say too is I can't remember on the box they advertise like a thousand cuts on a two milliamp battery or something like that. Um, I'm sure if you are just nonstop cutting all day long, you'll hit the edge of, of the battery but I've never had a problem with the battery. It just it just goes and goes and goes. You can see it's not on all the time, right? It's eh, eh. Um, So even a two milliamp, bat milliamp hour battery just uh, works great. Um, so it's not like you're running through all of these. I actually keep the smallest battery I have on here, which is the two, um, just because why? I don't need the extra battery capacity, but I want to keep it as small and low profile as possible. Um, so yeah, this thing is awesome. Uh, Amazon, Home Depot. Uh, give it a shot. It was not what I was expecting. And if you do any amount of pruning, it's definitely nice to have in your tool bag. I don't know that you can throw away the loppers. You definitely can't throw away the chainsaw. Um, but, but it's part of your arsenal. It's pretty badass. So, uh, thanks for listening guys. I appreciate you, you, you humoring me here. And again, please share with me how you use it. What's better, what's worse. Um, things that blow this out of the water. It's all down. Oh yeah. And it has, of course, the badass little light, which frankly, I don't do a lot of trimming in dark areas, but it is nice, especially when you're reaching into a tree, you can see just what you're cutting. 